All right, let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Natasha Stenbach. Uh, looks like you're taking us to Lincoln City, and a handful of people are there on this Monday. Yes, you're like, clouds, no problem. We're just going to take a walk on the beach. Check it out. 56 degrees right now. And the waves picking up a little bit more so today. Yeah, nice. It's certainly a nice day despite the clouds. And you might get a few sprinkles out there this evening. But even with that, the kind of rain that we're experiencing this evening won't amount to much. Maybe a trace, maybe a few hundredths of an inch at best. Let's take a look at what we're seeing so far. Looking out from downtown Portland, mostly cloudy skies right now. Uh, overall, just a few sprinkles occasionally. Your temperature at the moment, pretty comfortable, 63 degrees. Wind is out of the northwest to 8 miles per hour, dew point 46. So we're going to stick with the low 60s here for the next few hours. And then as soon as we get closer to about 9 o'clock, we'll be in the upper 50s. So what do we have here? This is our very weak front coming through at the moment. Right behind it, though, we have some nice clear air. So that means on Tuesday, we will get into partly cloudy skies. The Dow's right now looking pretty good, 72. Pendleton at 68. LaGrande and John Day, you're in the mid 60s, but in the Willamette Valley, we're stuck in the low to mid 60s with overcast skies. Eugene's starting to see a few clouds break away. Uh, at Florence, we're expecting temperatures to remain in the mid 50s for the next couple of hours. So temperatures tomorrow at the coast will be right around 57 in the valley. Tomorrow, we're getting closer to 70 degrees. Gorge temperatures also getting closer to 70. Central Oregon, mid 60s. Eastern Oregon, you'll be right around 70 to 72. So let's talk about rain for a moment. We just came out of the driest April on record. Is May going to be right behind it? Well, so far, we're starting off on a rather wet note. Now, we get into Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, three days in a row we could be seeing some measurable rain. At this point in time, it looks as though we might be able to pick up something close to about maybe eight tenths of an inch or more of rain in the valley. But of course, it depends on where exactly you are. Now, you go to the coast, we might be able to pick up something close to about two inches of rain. Either way you look at it, if we can just get something measurable to start us off at the beginning of the month here, that is some pretty good news. Now, let's talk about timing for rain. Through tonight, a few isolated showers kind of stick around with us by tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning will be mostly cloudy, a few left over, you know, a light sprinkles by tomorrow midday. We are clearing things out. Tomorrow's looking really nice. And then that big heat up. I'll talk all about it coming up in just a few minutes. Yeah, that's big. All right, Natasha, thank you.